it's me again, Dalek Apocalypse, and wow, I can't believe that the last two videos did kind of very well to the point where it actually gave me enough budget to make a wall. And yes, right in front of you is an Aquas Dalek. Pretty much he's going to be the mascot for the channel. But, nah, he's not important, neither is the wall. Because we're here to review toys. And if you check the title of the video, you will notice this review is not a Dalek product. Yay! Instead, it's going to be a review on the Doctor Who Christmas Adventure set. Or the Doctor Who Xmas set, as people like to call it. But I can't show you the packaging because I've been out a while ago. I had this set since I'm not sure how long. But anyway, this set was first released in 2010 or was it 2013? And I just realized I forgot to put the figures on. So, first off, the TARDIS. Let's just move the camera down a bit. Yes, I can't afford to really put that much wall on here. And we have Amy Pond. And we have Matt Smith, the 11th Doctor. So, pretty much, I'm going to be reviewing this set. So, we're not going to be reviewing the TARDIS first. No, instead we're going to be reviewing the figures as they fall down to the ground. So, first off, let's review the companion. Funny enough that this will be the first review I would do for this channel on a regular figure. So, the articulation is... Well, she can kind of do the 360. But the hair just restricts it. The arms can do a full spin. As well as the top of the arms right here. She has an elbow joint. A top of the arm swivel. No, I mean top of the hand. Yeah, kind of do a swivel. She has a full waist 360 spin. Legs can kick forward to this degree. And she has articulation at the knees. So, pretty much, she's kind of okay in the articulation department. But let's talk about the sculpt. Sculpting-wise, it's actually very nice. Now, this was before the infamous 2011 quality control year for New Who figures. And luckily, she doesn't... Well, she never hit it. Well, except for the legs. No, really, the legs just look like that. Sorry if my shadow keeps on getting in the way. But the legs just look like she's not wearing anything, even though there's lines down there. And I'm not really planning on getting the re-release. Because I already have this figure. So, yeah, pretty much this is a good figure. She comes with... I mean, she has her... her watch and notice that the episode came out after Amy and Rory got married she has no wedding ring quite shame but hey she does look fine in the police uniform which is actually detailed nicely because she has the pretty much she has what police women wear I'm trying to not make a sound like I'm I'm just gonna not stop talking about the figure already. Because this video is getting a bit disturbing and in the corner, uh, never mind. So, yeah, pretty much that's the Amy Pond figure. Now, let's get on to. Let me just move a bit and ignore the noises. Let's just. Got on to one of my favorite parts of the set, and that is the Love of Doctor, played by Matt Smith. So, yeah, this figure, I do love this figure, and this may surprise you of what I'm about to say, but Matt Smith is my absolute favorite doctor, he is my number one doctor. 
if anyone was to ask me who is my favorite new who doctor pretty much it would be matt smith and if and yeah i'm about to give a shout out here but if that doctor who fan was to watch this review pretty much he would be annoyed and i think he might be annoyed now i like the love of doctor because i'm aware that he thinks he's the worst and for all of you matt smith haters out there who's saying that matt smith sucks as the doctor to that i'd say shut up so yeah before we get into the detail let's get into the articulation articulation he had come fully do a 360 swivel the arms can spin around full yeah fully we have a swivel at the top of the arm he has an elbow joint a 360 swivel on the wrist his waist can do a swivel his legs can kick up to this degree he has a top of the leg swivel and he has a articulation at the knee so yeah pretty much this figure is really nice with the articulation now as for the figure himself i love the detail on it they managed to get the tweed effect right because if you look carefully there's some tweed effect I love that they got the head sculpt to look like Matt Smith before they remade the Smith sculpt for series 6. And I, yeah, I know people are a bit confused about the hair thing. Trust me, I was a bit when I first got the I Love of Doctor figure. But not anymore. I'm trying really hard with the background right here, but it's getting, it's making me hurt a little bit. But yeah, the quality, and as for quality control, well, there's a little bit of a loose ring going on with this arm, as in it keeps on popping, I mean, moving about so loosely, and pretty much that's all, and also I love the detail on the bow tie, and I think they might have the shirt wrong, because it was white in the episode, but who am I to judge, I'm not an expert on Matt's clothing. So yeah, overall I love this I love of Doctor figure. Now let's bring Amy back. So yeah, pretty much up the figures. Now let's move on to the TARDIS. That is way too big for my background. Let's just move the TARDIS back a bit. Let's pull the camera back. I think this might be the only time where we get to see the TARDIS from this close. So, yeah, the detail on the TARDIS is actually very nice. And, yeah, pretty much, oh, for the love of might, a speaker hole and an ugly battery compartment. Also, I forgot to mention the gush down legal, legal guff that you can barely see. Like, can you because of this little light? No, you can barely see legal guff. And um, very much, this is a non-electronic TARDIS. The doors can open to reveal the inside. And um, once again, I got my sonic screwdriver torch with me. And here's the inside. And you can put one of the figures inside. Let's put Amy in here. And all you need to do is to close the doors if you want it to be sealed and there's a button on the floor uh, it's too dark maybe once i get better lighting i'll show in fact right right there right there so yeah pretty much the tardis it can also have the neat thing to open, the little pull to open sign, so that you can have the doctor very much be close to it and yeah, but then he can answer it and let's close that door again. So 
Yeah. So yeah, pretty much that's all I have to say about this thing. Overall, what do I think of this? Like, think of the Christmas adventure set? Well, damn it. Pretty much this review is nothing but figures falling over. So, let's actually get them to stand. There we go. So what do I think of this set? Well, this small little set. And I forgot to show the light, but stuff it. I can't fit the hardest into the whole shot. So what do I think of this set? I actually kind of like it. If you don't have a regular 11th Doctor figure, but if you want one for Series 6, I recommend this set. I would just pat the TARDIS, but you can't see my hand. So I recommend this set. And for any of those who wish they had a TARDIS, but non-electronic, then pretty much this is another best thing for you. Uh, yeah, I was originally going to make this review in two parts. One about the Doctor and Amy, but I decided not to because I'm not tired and I don't want people to be like, Oi, where's part two? Where's part two? Please give me part two. Can you please release part two? And I'm just one of those people who hate those type of comments. But yeah, thanks for watching. I do hope you enjoyed the video. And I'll see you next time for another review.